Okay, hi guys, it's Ed Barton, the Social Anxiety Coach again here, and today I'm coming to you from my villa in Bali, as you can see, and today I want to talk about something that's really, really important for you, overcoming social anxiety, and that is self-esteem. Okay, so what is self-esteem and why is it so important? Well, first of all, self-esteem has two components. And the first part is your belief that you deserve happiness and success. The second part is your belief in your ability to cope with the challenges of life and to trust your own mind in making decisions and dealing with problems. Why is it so important? Well, it's massive. It's absolutely crucial to social anxiety. And it's one of the three core drivers that I've discovered and which I've identified through my decades of research and my own painful trial and error. And those three are low self-esteem, toxic shame, and maladaptive thinking. Now, these other two I'll get into in other videos, but low self-esteem, I believe, is probably the most important out of those three core drivers. It's even been said that low self-esteem determines pretty much everything about your life the kind of romantic partner you're going to choose, the kind of people that you feel comfortable around and will choose for friends, the level of professional success that you'll rise to, your income level, just about everything is determined by this image that we have of ourselves, our self-concept and where we believe that we should rise to in life, how happy we should be, how wealthy we should be, what kind of partners and relationships we should have in our life. So it really, really is absolutely crucial to overcoming social anxiety and not only that, but to pretty much everything in life and to living a healthy and happy life. So if you're watching this, you most likely suffer from very low self-esteem. So with that said, and accepting that maybe you do have low self-esteem, you probably wanna know where this comes from. And this often comes from messaging that we receive in childhood, growing up, messages that we get from parents or significant caregivers. Maybe we were bullied and that feeds into low self-esteem. Maybe we had harsh experiences at school with teachers who gave us negative messages about ourselves or we had psychological abuse from parents. This is what I often see with my clients. This is what I've seen with a lot of people who suffer with um, social anxiety and this is where low self-esteem often comes from. So what can you do about it? Well, the good news is that you can radically improve your self-esteem. And as I said, this is a massive part of overcoming social anxiety. And like other parts of overcoming social anxiety, improving self-esteem is a practice. It's not something you were just born with. You weren't just born with great social skills or you weren't just born with low self-esteem and there's nothing you can do about it. All of these things can be worked on and improved. Now, you go about that through a number of ways. One of the ways is through practice, okay? You go out and you do things. And there's a kind of feedback mechanism which works with low self-esteem or building self-esteem, and that is you challenge yourself to do things which you never thought that you could, and then that causes you to re-evaluate how you look at yourself. So if you get up and give a small presentation in front of four or five colleagues at work and you never thought you were able to do that, you then think, wow, I'm, I never thought I was the kind of person that could do a thing like that. And you always put yourself into a certain box and you gave yourself a negative evaluation. But when you go out and push yourself outside of your comfort zone and you take on new challenges and do things you never thought you could, you start to think, wow, I'm that kind of person that can do that kind of thing. You start to re-evaluate yourself, you change your self-concept and you start to improve your self-esteem. And that then leads you on to greater and greater challenges and it creates a virtuous upward cycle. Secondly, you can read up about the subject and a great starting point which I recommend for all of my clients and anyone who's interested in self-improvement or overcoming social anxiety is this book. It's The Six Pillars of Self-Esteem by Nathaniel Brandon. You really want to go out and get yourself a copy of this. And the reason I love this book is because it's so in sync with what I teach in my courses about social anxiety which is that improving self-esteem is a holistic practice. It involves all different areas. And there's six pillars which Nathaniel Brandon highlights in the book. So the first one is the practice of living consciously. The second is the practice of self-acceptance. 
The third is the practice of self-responsibility. The fourth is the practice of self-assertiveness. Number five is the practice of living purposefully. And the sixth and final pillar is the practice of personal integrity. Now, I won't go into the whole of those right now. It's not my object here to give a massive critique of the book. But basically, with some of those pillars, such as the practice of assertiveness, it involves real practical stuff. Like when your boss asks you to work overtime and you can't do it, you just learn to say no. You learn to express your wishes and your needs appropriately and get what you need out of an interaction without feeling guilty about it, without always saying yes, without crumbling. And this is all related to our personal integrity. And so it's a really holistic approach, which basically means that all the stuff that you do in life, the job that you do, you know, if you're working a dead end job, stacking shelves in a supermarket, that's going to impact your self-esteem. And this is stuff that I teach in my courses and in my coaching se sessions. If you're a yes man and say yes to everything and just let people trample all over you, that erodes your self-esteem. If you don't take responsibility for your actions and are just passive and feel like things happen to you in life and you're a victim, that impacts your self-esteem. Your self-esteem grows when you take responsibility, you take control of your own destiny, you go out, you say no where you need to, you say yes where you need to, you take control of your life, you push yourself. So all of these things feed in. There's no magic bullet. Like I always teach with all of my stuff, there's no magic bullet which just suddenly raises self-esteem. It's, you know, it's everything from your livelihood, your job, to how you deal with people, to how you express your needs in, in interaction. So it covers everything. So this really is a great starting point for reading up and understanding about self-esteem. And the reason self-esteem is so important is because it's one of the three core drivers of social anxiety, which I have discovered through my own research and my own trial and error. And number one is low self-esteem. Number two is toxic shame. And number three is maladaptive thinking patterns. And we'll look at those in other videos. But self-esteem is probably the most crucial of all of those core ones. So it really, really demands that you take a close look at it and delve into some of that. So as I've said, um, a way to do that is to go out and push yourself with comfort zone challenges. And another part is to look into reading materials like this. So I hope that's of use to you. I hope you'll look into that and take some steps to working on your self-esteem. If there's anything you need help with, you can contact me via the link on this page. Please subscribe to the channel and check out the other videos. And I'll see you guys all in the next video.